All right, guys. <clears throat> so, buckle up for this video because we're in for a good one. And I'm going to break down uh, exactly why men are choosing not to marry women nowadays. I'm not saying it never happens anymore. It absolutely does. But the marriage rates are at its lowest ever. The least amount of people ever in the world is getting married nowadays. Divorce rates are at its highest. There's obviously something going on. There's a big awakening in the world is what's going on. That's what we're going to talk about here. And I'm not saying everything is a woman's fault. I'm also going to explain where men are going wrong as well. So this is not a one gender thing. I think there's good people in both genders. Clear as day. But there's also a lot of people in both genders in both men and women that are off. You see it every day. You see it everywhere, every single day. In person, social media, on YouTube, you see it everywhere. There's a lot of people that's just off. Their mindsets are off. Their belief system is off. They got influenced by the by the by wrong people. And it's just chaotic. So I believe the reason why most men are not marrying today is because they are more awakened than ever. They understand that 80% of divorces are initiated by women. This does not mean every single marriage was a woman's fault. Does it mean that? But the fact and the statistic still remains that 80% of women initiate divorces. And if you're a man and you get married and you get in a divorce, you're the one that's going to lose a lot of shit. You could lose your damn house. You could lose the majority of your money. You lose custody to the children. If you have children with this woman, which is the only reason why you should ever get married to a woman in the first place, is for children and a family. You do not marry a woman just to marry a woman if there's not going to be kids involved and a family involved. That'd be the dumbest shit ever. Some people do this, which is retarded. That's the only reason it would ever happen in my case. The only reason. And still, <clears throat> there's always that thought, what if? But I'm telling you guys, sometimes in life too, you got to take a risk. But it better be a damn good risk. <laughs> and you better know who you're dealing with. Because some people prioritize marriage, kids, things like this first before anything else. Your life's not even in order. You're having fucking kids. You're getting fucking married. Your life's not even in order yet. This is a horrible decision. And I'll explain why it's a horrible decision. Because let's say if you do get married, you do have kids. These things happen. And you actually level up in the process. You get better. You become better. Your mindset changes. You no longer see this woman. Or if you're a woman, you no longer see this man. Vice versa. The same as you used to. You kind of grew over them. You grew past them. You kind of grew apart. Things like this can happen. That's why you should get all your shit together first. Before you even think about doing things like that. It doesn't mean you have to be single. You can be with somebody else. But to, to be married, bro. You should know for sure what is going on with this person. 1,000%. It's too risky, and that's why I'm saying don't put those things first. You don't. It's a terrible, terrible decision. I'm not even going to lie myself. There was girls I was with in the past. Great looking girls. Fine looking girls. But the person I was then and the person I am today, I would not date those girls again right now. I would not. Even if they were still that same way. Would not. Unless they grew and evolved themselves. And was much better versions of themselves. So it goes to show. If you do things when you're really, really, really fucking young, it might not be the best option. Things can happen. There's a lot of single parents out there. There's a lot of 
There's a lot of stuff out there like that for a reason. Kids that day today, you can't take that serious. Maybe once in a rare blue moon, some fella from high school, some 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 girl from high school got together at, at that stage and they got married, it all worked out. Once in a blue moon that can happen, it usually does not happen. It usually does not happen. At all. It's very rare. So I don't recommend putting those things first, bro. For for a million reasons. Most people are not developed at that age. In fact, nobody is fully developed at that age. You're not. You're going to grow a lot more into a much more solid adult, man or woman. You're going to be a lot more solid. So, things can change. If you liked each other then, and you grew a lot, and they even grew a lot, maybe you didn't grow in the same kind of way. Maybe you grew apart. Or maybe you grew and they didn't, now you grow apart. Or they grew and you didn't, now you grow apart. People change, things happen in life. So if you do a lot of work, they do a lot of work, and you're still perfectly fine, you love each other, you care for each other, it's still there, that's a good sign. That'll probably work to the end of time. So there's a lot that goes into these things. But like I said, with, with today's world we're living in, when it comes to men not wanting to marry anymore, they're just more awakened than ever. And I don't blame them. Even I'm more awakened than ever. There's more information out there than ever. There's, we have all these facts, we have all these statistics that show a lot of women in the world are mad because of this, because a lot of men are refusing to marry. And it seems like there's this thing that a lot of men are going their own way, a lot of women are going their own way. Women are also making more money than they ever have. So they're way, 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 way less dependent on men. So there's a big shift in the world. I think it's up to every single one of us to to figure it out. It could just be a rough patch. Things could get figured out. Who knows what's going to happen? Things could look ugly right now and be great 10 years from now. We don't know exactly how things are going to go. A lot of people are predicting it's going to get worse. But nothing is for sure. Nothing is for sure. People thought the world was going to end in 2012. We're still here. There's a lot of what ifs, there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of different scenarios that could play out. But it's just, I feel it's up to every single one of us to just keep improving, keep being the best we can be. Um, I do not really overthink things myself I just know the statistics in the world I feel completely fine when it comes to everything where I come from is a it's a pretty good place there's some pros there's some cons there's some ugly things about where I come from but <clears throat> I feel good um there's a lot of people in the world that don't there's places in the in the United States that's chaotic, hectic, the way women act. I see women of all different races acting borderline retarded. I see women from all over the world in different places that act borderline retarded. And it is what it is. It's crazy. It's chaotic, but it is what it is. I believe things like this 
are going to come back to haunt them for a long, long time. Maybe till death. Because they will wake up one day too. Because you can tell these people are not... They're not awake right now. They're riding this wave of... Of an illusion. That doesn't even exist. They think... Man, the way they act, I'm telling you, bro. Some of these modern day bimbo women out there. I'm not calling all women bad. Do not paint that narrative. Don't Do not get offended unless you're one of them. Then go ahead. But... They really believe they're going to get their way. Some of these crazy, chaotic women out there, the way they act, the way they behave. The furthest thing from a traditional woman is how they behave. They actually think in their minds they're going to get their way. And it's absolutely insane. It's absolute insanity to actually think that things will go their way. Like, they're in years from right now, 5, 10, 15 years max from right now, they're not going to be in good shape. Not at all. And it comes down to greediness. It comes down to a lot of these types of things. And what happens when you get to agree? What happens when you think you can get away with damn near murder? Not good things. Things will come back to butt you. Things will come back to haunt you. I've talked to many women. I've talked to many women in my one-on-one -on -one calls. Many of them. Not one. Many. They're not doing so hot. And we don't wish that. But it's happening. And you know, life is long, but it's also short at the same time. There's certain stages in life where you got to get things right. Don't act like you don't act like you don't have enough time. <laughs> There's all the time in the world to get things right at certain ages of your life where you must. You have a lot of time. So if you can't make that happen, it could be nobody else's fault but your own. You got to take that loss, you got to take that L. It's a big loss. It's gonna cost you and haunt you for the rest of your life quite possibly. And we're not here to bag on nobody. We're not here to put that energy out there like we want this to happen to anybody because we don't. But it's just the truth, man. You gotta get things right in life, bro. For men out there. I know we don't make all things about money. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to have to make a certain amount of money. If you want anything to work out. With the woman of the caliber that you feel you should be able to get. Let's say if you're damn near broke. Let's say if you don't make a whole lot of money. There's going to come a time where you're going to have to make probably more money than you do right now. I'm not saying it will be filthy rich. But money is good. Money is important. It's not everything. But it matters. It matters a lot. You can do almost nothing without money. Little to nothing. You can't leave your house without money. You cannot eat without money. That's why money is so important. People paint money in the picture, oh... Money's everything, so it can be so materialistic and so this and so that. Those could be the bonuses that come with having more money. The important thing is you can protect 
You can provide. You can lead because you have money. Because you were a person that you had drive to be able to get that money in the first place. Which is what women are attracted to initially. If you can't even protect her, if you can't even provide for her, why would she want you? You're sub th th this is an absolute requirement. An absolute requirement on your end. If you don't got it now, don't stress it too much. Just make sure you do get to it. And I'm not saying all the money in the world. But if you make below average, you probably got to make at least average. At least. A bare minimum average. Bare minimum. Be nice to have a little more than that. In your case. So, that's why it's important. It's not important because you can give her some luxurious life and everything else. <clears throat> you just have to be able to play your role as a man. If you don't want a woman, that's fine. Do whatever you got to do. I'm not saying you have to do anything, but I'm saying I'm, I'm letting you know the, the requirements for actually having something work out with probably a female of the caliber that you actually want. You're going to have to hit certain requirements, even with you and her. She has to hit certain requirements with you. I know I have high standards. I know a female of my caliber has to have certain things on point and certain things that I absolutely do not want that would disqualify her instantly. So, everybody should have standards. Everybody should, you know, if you're not on point with your own, with your own shit, you have no room to have standards because you have to get your shit right first. You can't have these standards and you're not, and, and you can't be what somebody else wants. That's just delusional. As long as you're playing your role, as long as you're on point, you should you should have nothing to worry about. Because your market in the in in the your value in the marketplace is very high. If you know deep in your heart that you have almost everything on point that is good and, and you have great qualities about yourself, being a man or a woman, you have nothing to worry about. It's just a matter of time is what it is. It's on God's timing. Make sure your value is on point. And I think if everybody in the world had this mindset and was doing this, a lot more things would work out. More people would be willing to get married. There would be a less of a divorce rate than there is. But I just believe a lot of people are making wrong decisions too often, too early, and it ends badly. And it can negatively affect your life for the rest of your life, if not a long time. So, it's up to yourself to get things right. We're not bashing nobody here. God bless men and women. We just hope that people can start doing the right things and get it right. Because we have a limited time in this world. And we gotta get it right. You know, it's just a requirement. This should not be a fucking fire drill. Like, come on, guys. What are we doing? But for real, this should not be a fire drill. These should be things that should be happening naturally, but people are struggling. And I get it, but you gotta work hard, brothers, sisters. You gotta work hard. It is a must. And at the end of the day, just do what you want to do, I guess. Just do whatever you want to do. I'm just trying to give you some good advice here and of how to, how to win in your situation. Because we all want to win at the end of the day. Everybody wants to win. We all have certain goals, dreams, visions. We all have certain outcomes that we all want in our heads. We kind of see how we want things. If you work hard, the percentage of a chance that these things happen significantly go up. If you sit around wishing it will happen for you, the percentage of a chance of these things happening goes significantly down. So it's on you. 
It's on you. It's on you. That's it. 